So hopefully you've already had an opportunity to see the last video, which was my first impressions of the Rodecaster Pro 2. In case not, I've linked it down in the description. You can also catch it in the info card. But listen, I talked about, you know, the features of the Rodecaster Pro 2 and, and how futuristic I felt like, you know, this particular model of the Rodecaster Pro was because it's really geared towards streamers um, and how a lot of those features can be overwhelming for a lot of my people that may strictly want to just deal with audio podcast or kind of more of a simple stream because there are a lot of different things um, that the Rodecaster Pro 2 can do. But but I just want to really talk about one of those features today, and that's specifically the reality of having dual USB-C connections, inputs or outputs. I know you may not necessarily know what that means or why that's so exciting, but we're going to talk about it in today's video. Hey, what's going on party people and thanks for tuning in to another video. For those of you here for the first time, my name is Walter Jeanette. I'm the founder and creative director of Create, Inspire and Solve. And on my channel, you can expect to find inspiration and solutions that are going to help you grow your brand, build your business and also help you create a community around the things that you're most passionate about. And we just happen to do that using camera and audio gear. So again, thank you for stopping by. Feel free to hit that like button if you find value out of anything I say today. Also, so more importantly, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified every single time I post new content to the channel. But let's get into today's topic. So I'm excited about going ahead and jumping right into today's video because I really want to show you my specific use case. Um, you guys know when you come to my channel, when you watch one of my videos, I'm not the spec guy. Walt is not the spec guy. But I'm going to show you a real world use case that I think is also going to benefit a lot of you who may be streaming to multiple platforms at the same time. You may be in a situation like me where you're streaming to Facebook or YouTube at the same time um, using, you know, camera like I'm using now going into the ecamm but because Instagram's API is not open source, we're not able to quote unquote legally um, stream to that platform directly using um, the setup like I have now. So I may, if I want to go Instagram live at the same time that let, let's say if I was streaming this, I got to set up my phone, another device, but sometimes it's not always as easy to make sure that the phone or the viewers on Instagram are getting the same level of experience or the same high quality audio that my audience on YouTube and Facebook are getting. So that's really what I want to kind of delve into today. The Rodecaster Pro 2 has really made it a lot more intuitive. I'm not going to necessarily say easier because this was possible on the first generation of the Rodecaster Pro, but with the multiple USB-C outputs, inputs, configurations, connections now, they've made it a lot more intuitive and increased the possibility of how you can connect multiple devices to your Rodecaster Pro 2 and, and make it a little bit more easier to manage everything in one place. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into that and get in and really get into the nitty gritty of how we're going to set up multiple devices on the Rodecaster Pro 2. All right, so typically right out the box, we've got two USB-C um, ports available to us. And typically the first one, the main one, you're probably gonna connect to your computer or your laptop or however you have your main workstation set up. Uh, just, you know, you can connect it to the phone. You can connect it to an iPad or tablet, whatever you're using. Quick aside, um, the Rodecaster Pro does have network capability, so you can connect it to your network. You can hook up an ethernet cable directly to it and get it set up without connecting, connecting it to anything but again most people you're probably just going to take that one USB-C cable that comes in the box with your Rodecaster Pro 2 and go ahead and connect it to your computer so I'm going to show you specifically when you connect that to your computer what you what you can expect that to look like in your sound preferences y'all know I'm a Mac guy sorry for you Windows people um, same same rules should apply but this video is going to be centered around how this works with an Apple device all right so what you see right here are the sound preferences specifically on my iMac workstation, which I have my Rodecaster Pro 2 connected to. I also have my original Rodecaster Pro connected to it as well. So that's why you still see the uh, Rodecaster Pro stereo here. All right. And that is the main USB output. But then you also notice you have Rodecaster Pro 2 main and chat. So when you connect your Rodecaster Pro 2 to your computer or your laptop, you're going to see Pro 2 main 
Pro 2 chat setup. All right, now I, I'm gonna do another video specifically on the differences of this, these two things. So I don't wanna go you know, too much into depth right now. But basically, this is going to be the main, it's gonna be similar to stereo. This chat becomes another virtual audio channel that you can actually route to another program on your computer. So let's just say, that i had um discord open um, while i was recording as well i can route that audio there specifically and we can do a whole nother configuration for a whole nother show but again i don't want to get too deep into that the main thing when you're using that primary usb uh, c port on the roadcaster pro 2 when you connect it to a mac computer you're going to see this main pop up and that's what you actually want to select um, as your output all right if you go over here to input all right, you're gonna see the same thing because again, this is two way. Right now I'm speaking specifically on my Rodecaster Pro original just to kind of make this easier for the recording, but you see those channels are two way as well. So just as you have the output on the main in chat, you have the input on the main in chat as well. Again, we're gonna really dive deep into that on the next video, but I just wanted to talk about that um, just so you, you know, you're not asking a lot of questions like Walt, I'm trying to follow along with you this is not really making sense all right that's what it looks like straight out the box you just say hey i don't need a complicated setup i just want to connect my computer to the rodecaster pro 2 take that cable pop it in to your first connection boom there you go rodecaster pro 2 you have main and chat just to keep it simple select the main as your input and your output and you're going to be good to go all right, so next we're gonna be talking about how you can connect your phone or another mobile device to your Rodecaster Pro 2 as well, all right? So there are gonna be two main ways that you can do this. You either can do this using Bluetooth, uh, which is probably gonna be the simplest and the free way, or you can do this using the cable, specifically the Rode SC15 um, Lightning to USB-C cable. And now again, this is only going to apply if you're using an iPhone. A lot of my Android users y'all need to get a you know get a life but um you guys are already using usb-c across your phones if you have uh one of the recent models of the ipads they're also using usb-c so you can go usb-c straight to usb-c but if you're still using the iphone specifically um like myself which is the right way um then you need to use something like the sc15 cable you remember on the roadcaster pro the original they actually had an, an aux channel or 3.5 millimeter jack um which which I actually miss, you know, I actually miss, um, I, I thought it was, it, it, it had its, its reasons um, that I think it would have been kind of dope to kind of add to this model as well. But um, yeah, I won't say it's a design flaw or anything like that, but yeah, they no longer have that. So if you want to connect by a cable, then you're going to need to use again, this Rode SC15 cable, which again is lightning to USB-C. So you have the lightning for your phone and then you have the USB-C on the other end, all right? All right, so I'm gonna show you specifically how to get that set up both ways with the cable and with Bluetooth. Let's jump into that right now. All right, so right now you are looking at my Rode Caster Pro 2 uh, screen. Uh, you can see we're actually picking up audio on channel one. So still basically straight out the box, I have not reassigned any of the channels specifically on my Rodecaster Pro 2. You can see I have the Bluetooth channel where, where it is. So it's this fifth fader here. All right, so you see me moving up and down. You see that corresponding. All right, so pretty much I love the simplicity. All I have to do is go ahead, hit the Bluetooth channel. You see it says no device connected, all right? All I have to do is hit the Bluetooth connections there. It's now gonna be discoverable. All right, so I'm gonna grab my iPhone, all right? And it's showing other devices, Rodecaster Pro 2. So I know you can't necessarily see my phone right now, but when I select this, you should see me make a connection here. Bluetooth device attempting, attempt to, you know, to pair. All right, that is the correct code, it's pairing and now we are connected, all right? So I'm gonna show you specifically, if I go back here, put that in, I'm gonna start playing some audio. You may not necessarily hear it, but I'm gonna start playing some audio. Let's just, let's go to my channel and let's specifically play uh, one of my last videos. And then you'll see the audio start to pick up. It's been a minute. I've been gone for a while, but guess what? We're back better than ever. And what better way to kick off? All right. And that was the audio specifically coming from my video. 
the last video that I just did on the first impression. So now we know that the audio is working over the Bluetooth channel. So let's take a look at how we do this actually using the cable. All right, so again, we're still looking at the Rodecaster Pro 2. And again, you wanna make sure if you're gonna be connecting this to your iPhone, then you wanna make sure that you have uh, the Rode SC15 cable. Listen, I cannot guarantee that another lightning to USB-C cable is going to work with this. I just recommend using what road recommends using, um, even though this is a little pricier, probably than something else you can find on Amazon or in Best Buy, just go pick this up. And that way you won't have to worry about testing out a lot of different cables. All right. So let's go ahead and get this, get this connected. As you can see right now, I have uh, my iPhone connected to the Rodecaster Pro 2 using that SC15 cable. Just so you know, it is a pretty short cable. It's only about a foot long, which is probably why most people are just going to say, hey, let me save some money and also increase the distance <laughs> by just using the Bluetooth. But again, just in case you are one of those people, you just probably have a spare phone or iPad you keep connected at all times to make it easier boom you connect it by the cable all right um, I haven't reassigned anything so my channels are assigned based on the default so the USB 2 again is showing as a virtual device all the way at the end you see that number two again if we want to select it I can click that right there. You're going to see your process and presets, advanced effects, all of those different things you can do. You will see mix minus there. We'll get into that into a second. And you also see a notice about, you know, uh, Pro 2 secondary as the output device in your computer. We'll get into that in a second as well. But again, I just wanted to make sure you can see that. And to show that it is connected again, the correct way, I'm going to play some audio directly from my phone, last video. That way we won't get any copyright strikes. That way we can show you that the audio is specifically working from that channel been a minute i've been gone for a while but guess what we're back better than ever and what better way to kick off this next six months of content with none other than the beauty and the beast herself road all right, so as you can see, the audio does work. So I've shown you how we can connect it through Bluetooth. I've also shown you how we can connect it to the cable. Let's have a quick conversation about why Mix Minus is so important, depending on exactly what you're doing when adding your phone to the Rodecaster Pro 2. All right, just a real quick conversation about Mix Minus, and, and this doesn't just apply to the phone, but this also is gonna apply just in general, um, whether you're not just using the Rodecaster Pro with your computer. I want to make sure that anytime, like say for instance, if I'm doing a podcast or I'm live streaming a show, or I want to take phone calls or something like that. I want to make sure that the audio that I'm sending to my recipient or my caller when they're talking back to me and I'm capturing that inside of my show, I want to make sure that, that it's not doubling basically where they're hearing themselves. The, so there's, I'm sending them the mix minus themselves. All right. I can hear everything inside the Rodecaster Pro 2. But what happens is because I want to capture their audio, I want to send them everything minus their own audio. That way it's not doubling back. And that way it doesn't create an echo because you have audio going into the receiver and it's overshadowing the microphone and, and all those technical things where things get wonky. And again, like I said, that doesn't just apply to the phone. That applies, period. Let's say you have a complex setup um, for like Zoom or something like that. Let's say I'm inside of Ecamm Live. I'm doing a podcast interview. I'm doing a show interview and I have a guest using the interview functionality. I have a guest. All right. And so now we have this whole show. Everything is great. Let's say we open up for Q&A and I just happen to be doing a Q&A that's inside of Zoom. I have a totally separate private um, audience that gets to watch this live and ask a live Q&A um, and we completely ignore the chat, which I wouldn't recommend you doing. And I want their questions and their audio. I want them to be able to come on camera and all of that to get captured on the show but again i want to send them the mix and hear the audio minus themselves that's what mix minus is it cleans up everything it's smart it's intuitive so you don't have to do a whole bunch of routing and configuration and having a headache trying to figure it out the roadcaster pro 2 automatically does it for you it is very clutch when it comes to phone calls because again if i just want to play background music i can disable it but my thing is just leave it enabled keep it simple so you're never without it when you actually need it all right so let's go on to the third thing as far as talking about how we can connect the roadcaster pro 2 to another computer
All right, right now you can see I got a whole lot going on on my screen. And this is what I'm talking about, the power of Ecamm Live when you combine it with something like the Rodecaster Pro 2. So just so you understand what's happening right now, you can see me down in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, that is me, all right? What you see the other window over here is my MacBook Pro that I have set up. So I have the webcam, so just in case anybody think this is a fluke, you can see um, I've got the FaceTime camera um, set up over there on that computer. I also um, have uh, the YouTube um, video playing right now. And then you can see over here my sound preferences on the MacBook, MacBook Pro that is showing you Rodecaster Pro 2 secondary as the output source specifically um, that's going on. So again, you have the output. I'm outputting audio from this MacBook over to the USB channel going into my Rodecaster Pro 2. And just so again, just like before, so you, you don't think I'm lying, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna play the audio just so you can make sure we are capturing it. One of the biggest things where Tascam was kind of slapping Road in the face, let's just be honest, when they came out with the mixed cast um, and they had combo jack. So not only can you use XLR, but you can plug in. All right, and again, I, I, I don't think anybody, pro, you know, is thinking I'm lying, but again, you know how YouTube is. You just, you just gotta give that proof. But, but the combinations of these things are endless because again, I'm able to route that audio again, not just as an output, but as an input. So as far as me wanting to send audio from the Rodecaster Pro 2 back over to the MacBook, let's say if I was running an entirely different show on the MacBook, which I have to do sometimes for clients, depending on the complexity of a lot of these hybrid conferences that we were doing, you know, while COVID was going on. And the reality is a lot of people are still doing things like that, um, not just for safety reasons, but because they figured out, hey, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to offer um, that type of model. So it's just, it's amazing what you can actually do when it comes to that with the routing, um, being able again to just connect a Rodecaster Pro to the computer being able again to just connect um, a mobile device to the computer at the same time so you're routing the same audio um, to something like Instagram or if you want to take phone calls or whatever the mix minus so you can make sure that everything is clean or just being able to route this to an entirely different machine or to have another machine that you may be doing something on to route audio back to you the possibilities with all of these different connections are absolutely endless all right, so my hope is that you were able to get some value out of today's video. Again, I don't I don't wanna get too deep into things because the video will be like an entire hour long because there are a lot of different possibilities, a lot of different combinations. I expect you guys to have a lot of different questions about some of the things that you saw, which is gonna give us an opportunity to create more content. So again, I love to hear what you think. How are you using the Rodecaster Pro 2 in your setup? Again, for me specifically, um, I'm probably going to be using the phone, just pushing things out to maybe IG, um, while in addition to maybe streaming to, to Facebook and YouTube like I do now, using my Ecamm setup. Um, I, I do a lot of things with clients, so that stream into another computer option, um, because sometimes I may not want to run Zoom and Discord and all those different things on the same machine. I may want to do that on a totally separate machine. Guess what? Now the Rodecaster Pro 2 makes it a whole lot easier to do something like that. When you bring in like what I just did with NBI, like how did I get the screen from my MacBook, you know, in this recording while recording with my camera at the same time, you combine NDI, virtual cameras, uh, virtual audio, multiple USB-C, you know, connections, things can get a little hectic, things can get a little crazy, which was my point with the first impressions video. As great as it is, there are a lot of possibilities to make a lot of errors, but that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna make the mistakes right along with you. So again, I hope that you were able to find value. As always, click that like button. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, go ahead, hit the bell so you can be notified every single time I post new content to the channel. But most importantly, I wanna engage. Let's hit those comments. I wanna hear the questions. I wanna know what you think so we can keep trying to find better solutions to, to make you a better creator. And making you a better creator, again, is just gonna help you build your business, grow your brand, and help you continue to create a community around the things that you are most passionate about. So until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.